you know, obviously it was a crazy game. Um, it's kind of hard to process it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, obviously it's a, you go from a high to a low, you know, you, you think the shot's good, but it's not. But um, we had a good fight and we came back, cut it down. You know, we tied the game, we, we, it could have been a blowout. So um, we got a good fight in our team. I think we can just build off that. CB <laughs> I don't know, not really. <laughs> Maybe for a second. But no, nah, I, I don't know. It's a, I guess it's a cool round. I don't know. Yeah. I guess what is come back from, you know, 13 points in the free quarter and come back and only lose by three. How great is it to see that? Do you take positives from that performance? Yeah, I mean, I mean, that game had everything, right? In a sense of like uh, an hour long. Half time and and we came out sluggish again to start the third and the aircon was off so it was hot and it was you know like and again credit to to Sydney you know there was a lot of discussions at half time and this is where I got to give credit to Sydney was um, I know if I was in their position where I'm up eleven or ten or whatever it was at half time and you know I'd be arguing the case a little bit more which they which they know they they wanted. Like, they wanted to play in the, in the sense of sportsmanship and gamesmanship, and that's what the NBL wanted to do, and we wanted to play because we were down. So if the game gets called, they win. So, um, no, so credit to them. It was I uh, appreciate the, the the amazing sportsmanship uh, shown by all of them guys, and uh, um, yeah, game had everything right. So <laughs> it's a bit to, bit to absorb. Yeah, the sluggish start more than anything. You know, we came out really flat, really, really flat at the start and um, burned two timeouts in the first quarter. Um, you know, there was a potential to challenge and out of bounds, which we couldn't because we burned those timeouts just trying to get um, going. So, um, plus the fact that, yeah, we missed more than we made from the foul line. You're never going to win too many games with that. Yeah, we, we, we settled a lot and this was even addressing at a half time, you know, we were basically split down the middle with uh, attempts, you know, we were 2 of 18 from deep and we were 13 of 18 everywhere else. So um, I felt like we could have done a better job exploiting that. We have a defensive performance Defensively? No, uh, offensively, no, it, yeah, no, it wasn't, wasn't ideal. Um, but defensively, it was great. You know, the guys, you know, the fact that there was no shot clock, right? So, you know, how did they dribble out the clock? You know, yeah, there was a lot of possessions too where, you, you know, you, uh, you generated a lot of movement and you get a deflection out of court and instinctively you look at the shot clock to see how many times left and it's a brand new clock for them, right? Because there's just no shot clock. So the fact that the guys were able to get over that mental hurdle and, and stay locked in regardless what, um, you know, was or wasn't falling in their favour, it was really good. Yeah, the good thing is, I mean, his engagement level, even when he fouled out, I mean, he was coaching the guys from the sideline, he was still up and about, and, and so even though he's not on the court, his impact is still there and present. So, um, yeah, look, you, you always obviously want to try and finish out with your best five, and, and, and Taj fouled out, but again, the guys that we put in, you know, we put Taron in there for the defensive uh, and, and, you know, trying to get us into some offence, and then when time was getting a bit poor and we put Jonah in there to try and make some shots and, and you know, kick the scoreboard over and he was fantastic. So um, in his absence, the boys definitely stepped up. And how would you rate uh, his past performance? I've seen those dying seconds. He's <coughs> crucial in getting guys to scores. Yeah, you know, even his drive at the end, you know, uh, the potential to shoot foul shots in that scenario. So, um, no, he was, again, just rock solid for us as he always is. Yeah, again, uh, you don't know what type of environment we're walking into. You always want to be 
cautious of a, a wounded bull, and, and I feel like that's what they are. So they've made changes, and, and that can usually, you know, spruik some life into all sorts of departments within the organisation. So um, no, look, we're, we're very aware of how good they are and, and, and the offensive firepower they have, um, and then also it's their home court, and so you know they're going to do uh, everything in their power to make sure that they, uh, you know, secure a home win. Say again, sorry? The, the fact that the game you know, was extended for such a long period of time, would that have any impact on how you go about preparing for Saturday's game? Oh, you know, you can't, I can't say anything in regards to that. <laughs> yeah. I, I appreciate the attempt at clickbait, but no, I'm not say no evil. Never, and hopefully never again. That was um, that was interesting. I don't know if I don't know if that was the the best game and the worst game all in the same like bubble. Um, yeah, no, never been part of that. Um, but again, you know, again credit to Sydney. You know, they they could have if they wanted to just dribbled the whole game clock out, but they didn't. They played. Um, so um, yeah, hopefully we don't have to experience that again. I mean, we're always confident. Um, you know, I think we're we're going to be a playoff team, so we're always, we're always confident. We you know we play well on the road. We we will play well at home. So, but, yeah, confident. That's well, it. Following on um, from the previous question, um, the spirit of the game is spoken a lot on the broadcast, um, and then you just alluded to it there. I guess Sydney could have dribbled it out um, for the for the duration. Do you feel like it was adhered to that spirit of the game by both sides throughout? Oh, and again, like, I mean, we were down. Like, we wanted to play to give ourselves a chance to win. Um, you could argue many points in a sense of, like, um, player welfare. You know, guys have sat out for an hour and, you know, the air con wasn't on. And, and so, you know, Sydney had a case to, to say this game should be called and get the win, you know. But uh, uh, the fact that they played, I can't, like I said, like, it's a, just a big thank you, like, because um, I knew <laughs> if I was on the other side of it, I think I would probably be like, no, we like this is this is, you know, exceptional circumstances. But um, yeah, no, the spirit of the game by the by the Kings and obviously by our guys too, like, was was present and evident, and it was great. I think it was great for for everybody who took part in it. All right, just Chris on Zoom. Yeah, sorry, Jonah. The show at the end, did you, did you think that you got a knocking hole? I think we all did. Yeah, I mean, the, the, when I re released it, then the buzzer went off, so I thought I thought it was good. Um, but, you know, it wasn't, so we move on from that and focus on Adelaide now. How, how complaining was it when you realised that it didn't count? I mean, I mean, I, I go through harder things than missing a shot or no, a shot not counting, so just means nothing. I mean, we move on. We get. We move on to Adelaide. I don't. Yeah, I've, I forgot about it already. Right. And just lastly, over the last sort of ninety days, you've been playing a lot more minutes, getting getting some chances out there. You must be enjoying this this chance, and you want to put the work in and just stay ready. Yeah, I mean, it's all you want as a player. You know, a chance to showcase your ability, and um, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm you know I'm happy to play. I know what it's like not to play, so I try to play as hard as I can every time I'm out there. Thank you.